Hello, 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 hello. Um, long time, no YouTube yoga. I think it's been three years, maybe a little bit longer. Um, new background, I live in a new space. Um, the last video I filmed was at the beginning of the pandemic and there was a baby in my belly and I knew, but you didn't know. And then it just kept going and going and going and life happened and two kids under two happened and now I'm back. So today I've got for you a well-rounded, mm, probably 20 to 30 minute flow. Um, I'm just glad to be back. I'm just so glad to be back. So let's get started. Um, yeah, I'm so happy to be here. So I'm gonna have you start in a comfortable seated position. And you can sit cross-legged or you can sit kneeling, whatever is comfortable for you, yogi's choice. But once you've found your seat, I'd like for you to close your eyes. And you can decide here if you'd like your palms to face up that is a gesture of receptivity. If you're feeling sleepy, lethargic, palms up will give you a little bit of extra energy. Alternatively, if you've rushed here, turning your palms down is a gesture of grounding. Also really nice if you're feeling anxious or frazzled. And once you've chosen what to do with your hands and your eyes are closed, feel where your sits bones connect to the earth, perhaps where your shins connect to the earth if you're kneeling. And allow your pelvis to be anchored and heavy. And this anchor allows for length through the spine. So elongate at the staircase of your spine, reaching the crown of your head up towards the sky and softening your shoulders gently on your back. And from the space you've created, take a nice big inhale through your belly, side ribs and heart filling up. And exhale, let it all go with a sigh. And we'll do that twice more. Big inhale through your nose. Ah. Last one, big inhale, fill up, 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 up with breath. Ah. Beautiful. Tuck your chin towards your chest. Blink your eyes open, look up. Roll over your shins and find all fours. Stacking shoulders over top of your wrists hips above your knees. On your inhale, drop your belly. Let your tail, your heart, and your gaze lift up towards the sky. And on your exhale, press the mat away, spread your shoulder blades apart, and lift your belly button up. Again, inhale, drop your belly, let your tail, heart, and gaze lift. And exhale as you round through your spine, pressing down where you connect to the earth. And then keep moving through these shapes on your own time, on your own breath, 
with the invitation of breaking out of this linear movement pattern and finding what feels appropriate and nice in your body. So you can circle your shoulders around your wrists. Ooh, you can do barrel rolls with your body. That feels so nice to me. And the sounds where we live now that you might hear are birds chirping. Maybe the occasional um, car going by. A vast difference from the constant sirens of our last place. Anyways, when you're ready, walk your hands, one hand print forward, tuck your toes, lift your hips back and up and glide yourself into downward facing dog. When you get there, do anything that feels really nice to arrive in your body. You can pedal out your feet. You can bend your knees. Take your hips from side to side. Just arrive. And then find some stillness. Your index fingers are parallel to one another. Your four corners of your hands are pressing onto the earth and you'll maintain that connection to the earth. Your hands will not actually move, but I want you to feel as though you're spinning your palms away from one another, tucking your armpits underneath you and finding external rotation through your shoulders. Maintain this as you inhale, ripple forward to plank, leading with the space between your shoulder blades and lifting your lower belly up. And then exhale, bend your knees, glide your hips back and up, downward facing dive. And again, inhale, ripple forward to plank. Exhale, downward facing dog, trying to find articulation through your spine as you move. Again, inhale, come forward. Exhale, downward facing dog. Last one, we'll inhale forward to plank and Pause. So I want your plank to be quite strong. You're pressing down to spread the shoulder blades apart. Your navel is drawing in and up. Your pelvic floor is lifting up. Mudabanda. Your hips are on the same line as your shoulders. You're breathing here for three, two, and one. Come forward onto your tippy toes so your shoulders are forward from your wrists. And then slowly knees lifted or lowered. With control, you're coming all the way down onto your belly, elbows grazing, side ribs. Beauteous. When you get here, untuck your toes. Press your toenails into the mat. Your kneecaps will lift. Tent your fingertips off the mat at shoulder height, winging elbows up towards the sky. And as you inhale, draw your heart forward and up. And exhale as you melt back down. Again, inhale, draw heart forward and up. Exhale, melt back down. Last one, inhale, draw your heart forward and up. You might be a little bit lower here because you will take your fingertips off the mat, swim them behind you, reaching for the back wall. Option one, you stay here. Option two, interlace behind your back, pressing knuckles towards your heels. Option three, your feet lift and your big toes and inseams of your legs glue together. Long line of energy here from the crown of your head to your toes. Back of your neck is long for three. You're breathing two and one slowly lower all the way down. Plant your hands by your lowest ribs, draw your elbows towards one another, tuck your toes, Draw your navel to spine. You are strong. You can do this. On your inhale, pressing up through all fours or plank. Whoa, that's hard. Exhale, downward facing dog. Beautiful. Breathe. Oh, I really am just so glad to be here. Inhale, sweep your right leg up to the sky, lifting from your right inner thigh, pressing through your right heel. 
Exhale, draw your right knee to your nose. Think plank pose. You're pressing shoulder blades apart, drawing your navel to your spine. Inhale, sweeps you back, three-legged dog. Exhale, bring your right knee to your right armpit, nice and high. Inhale, sweeps you back. Exhale, bring your right knee to your left armpit. Squeeze, look, give it a tap. Inhale, sweeps you back. Exhale, plant your right foot beside your right thumb. If your foot doesn't make it there, pick it up and take it. Squeeze your inner thighs together. Inhale, sweep your fingertips up to the sky. Oh, there's the other sound you might hear is a little kitty cat. Birds and kitty cats. Take an inhale here. Squeeze your right butt cheek to protect your right knee as you open it up, warrior two. Woo! You want to see your right big toe on the inside of your right thigh. So squeezing that glute will help you to externally rotate the hip and protect your knee. And the pinky side of your left foot is parallel to the back of your mat. Inhale, flip your right palm, reverse your warrior. Light on the left fingertips. Exhale, right elbow to your right knee. Left fingertips sweep forward. Lights on the elbow. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale to pause. Reaching your left fingertips forward. Shoulders are away from your ears. If you want to make this more challenging, sweep the right fingertips to meet the left. Bend your right knee, you're, you're here for three. Wrap your right rib cage forward for two. And one, press into your feet, inhale, come back up, straighten out the right leg. Heel toe your left foot forward just a hair. And then bump your hips to the left, reach your fingertips towards the right. Right hand comes down to your shin, a block or the mat, and left fingertips sweep up to the sky. This is Trikonasana Triangle Pose. That right rib cage is wrapping forward and up to the sky as you roll your left shoulder back and reach your left fingertips to the sky. We'll see if we have, or I have enough space to do what we're about to do. We're taking it into half moon. Bring your left hand to your left hip, look down. Put a soft bend in your right knee before you shift weight into it. Right hand comes to the upper right corner of your mat Spring off of the left tippy toes, press through your left heel to float your left leg. Left fingertips can reach to the sky. You might look up, Woo! and if you stumble, that's okay, come right back into it. If you really wanna go for it, float the right fingertips. Breathe. Eye on the prize. Slowly, with control, step back, land in warrior two. Beautiful. Flip your right palm, reverse your warrior. You're amazing. Exhale, windmill your hands to frame your front foot. Pop up onto the left tippy toes. Step back, three-legged plank. Keep the right leg lifted. Exhale, lower halfway down, chaturanga. Both feet meet the mat. Inhale into your back bend. Exhale, downward facing dog. Hoo, hoo, hoo. Breathe, breathe, breathe. Now you're gonna see my other side. <laughs> You'll see the back side of this view. Inhale, left leg lifts, lifting from your inner thigh. Stay strong through your upper body. Draw your knee to your nose. Inhale, sweeps you back. Exhale, left elbow to your left knee. Inhale, sweeps you back. Exhale, left elbow to your right knee. Give it a tap. Inhale, sweeps you back. Exhale, plant your left foot beside your left thumb. Draw your right outer hip forward. Press down into your feet. Inhale, sweep your fingertips up. Draw your lower ribs in. Smile. 
inhale. Exhale, squeeze that left glute this time to protect your knee as you open it up, warrior two. Reaching through your fingertips and stacking shoulders over top of hips. Lower body stays the same. Inhale, flip your right palm, reverse your warrior. Exhale, pardon me, it's that left palm. Bring your left elbow to your left knee, right fingertips sweep forward. Extended side angle. Inhale, flip your palm, reverse your warrior. Exhale, elbow to knee. Inhale. Exhale, pause. Option to stay here or left fingertips sweep forward, bending into the left knee and wrapping rib cage forward and up. You're here for three. Keep breathing for two and one. Inhale, come back up, straighten out the left leg, heel toe that right foot in, bump your hips to the back of your mat, reach, reach, reach your left fingertips forward and exhale, left hand down, right fingertips up to the sky, Trikonasana. Bump your hips forward to the wall you're facing and lean your upper body back. Bring your right hand to your right hip, look down. Put a bend in the left knee before you shift weight into it. Left hand comes to the upper left corner of your mat, spring off the right tippy toes, Ardha Chandrasana, half moon. So stacking the right side body on top of the left, you have external rotation in your standing leg. So lots, lots, lots going on here. The more you press through your right heel and float that right leg, you'll feel your glute fire up. Hopefully you feel a stretch through your left inner thigh. Maybe you're playing with balance by looking up or floating the left fingertips. One side's always harder. This is my tricky side. And then with control, step back, land in warrior two. You did it. Inhale, flip your palm, reverse your warrior. Exhale, windmill your hands to frame your front foot, popping onto the right tippy toes, pressing down, drawing navel to spine, three-legged plank. Exhale, lower halfway down, chaturanga. Inhale into your back bend. If you're an upward facing dog, the hips are lifted. Exhale, downward facing dog. <sighs> Exhale, slowly bring your knees to the mat. Beautiful. You're gonna have your toes tucked and come to like this standing kneel position where hips over top of knees. Beautiful, hands come to your lower back. Fingertips are pointing down. You're drawing your elbows towards one another. So to do that, shoulder blades are squeezing together and you'll feel hopefully an opening across your chest. As you do this, I want you to feel the lower belly draw in and up so your core is engaged. Big inhale, exhale. On your next inhale, start to imagine there's a thread with a balloon attached to the ceiling and instead of hinging backwards. Think about just lifting your heart up. And as you lift your heart up, your hips press forward. You can use your hands to help you here. So your hips stay stacked over top of the knees. You're breathing. For three, two, and one. Draw your navel to spine, slowly come up. The core is engaged and then you'll find a kneeling position. Untuck your toes, sit on your knees. My light went out, so hopefully um, you can still see me. Bring your hands to your thighs, turn your palms to face up, close your eyes. Just breathe. with your eyes open, come back up to that standing kneel. Okay, tuck your toes. We're gonna do this once more. Option one, you stick with the exact same shape. Option two, 
I'm gonna guide you to take your hands to your heels. Okay, so start everyone. Start with your hands on your lower back. You can use the heels of your hands on those bony places uh, at the lower back and press them down, squeezing your shoulder blades together, drawing your navel in and up, lifting Mula Bandha so your pelvic floor lifts up, everything's engaged. Big inhale, lift that balloon, that heart balloon up towards the sky. Option one, you stay here, you breathe. This is a lot. This is a lot. Option two, your hands will come down to your heels. If you go there, notice if you start leaning back, that's not what we're looking for. I want you to continue to press your hips forward, to squeeze your shoulder blades together, to squeeze your glutes, to draw the navel in and up. Your core is engaged. Everything's engaged. This is a hard place to be. This is Ustrasana or camel pose and you're breathing here for three, two, listen carefully on one. If your hands are on your heels, engage that core, mind to muscle, draw your navel to spine. Just lift your heels, your hands off your heels, bring your hands to prayer heart center. And then everyone come back to that standing kneel. All right. Siri started Googling something for me. Gorgeous. We're gonna come forward and just rinse it out. So tuck your toes, lift your hips back and up, downward facing dog. You have the option of staying here. Downward dog's in a nice neutral spine. So stay here or take your final vinyasa of the practice. Ripple forward to plank. Lower halfway or all the way down, chaturanga. Inhale into your back bend, and exhale, downward facing dog. Whew. Bend your knees, look forward. You're gonna make your way through to seated at the top of your mat. Pardon me, middle of your mat. Extend your legs long. We'll start with the left leg long, bend into your right knee. Place the sole of your right foot on the outside of your left thigh. Option one, you stay here. Option two, the left knee bends. Note that if the knee bends off to the side, you want both sits bones connected to the earth. They're anchoring you. So if your right side lifts, that's a good indication to stay with your left leg extended. Beautiful. Take your right fingertips behind you. Inhale, sweep left fingertips up to the sky. Exhale, twist towards the right. Option to give yourself a hug or you can hook your left elbow on the outside of your right knee. Your spine is long here, and you're light on the right fingertips, so you're not dumping into them. Even here, there's integrity. A little counter twist, gently unravel, twist towards the left, and we'll swap sides. You can take your legs out in front of you and just like, Shake them out if you'd like. And then right leg extends long, sole of your left foot to the outside of the right thigh. Option one, stay here. Option two, right knee bends. Left fingertips behind you. Inhale, sweep right fingertips to the sky. Exhale, twist towards the right. I gotta tell you, not having to constantly <laughs> worry about the sirens is quite nice. And I think I am going to invest in a little lapel mic um, so that the audio is even better for you. Gently unravel, counter twist to the right. Look forward, extend both of your legs long. Put a gentle bend in your knees. Um, and when you do so, you'll feel your pelvis tilt forward and your spine is nice and long. Oh, that's the monitor. I hope that doesn't continue. Inhale, sweep your fingertips up to the sky. Exhale, think up and over as you fold. Once you've hit that sweet spot, you can start to straighten out the legs. Maybe the crown of your head goes down, but I want you to maintain the length through your spine.
Inhale, slowly roll up. You're gonna scoot your seat forward. So your knees are bent slightly. Reach your fingertips forward. Think about scooping your lower belly in and up. You'll slowly roll halfway down, last little push. And inhale as you come up. Exhale, lower 75% of the way down. Inhale, come back up. Exhale, lower 80% of the way down. Inhale, come back up. This one's gonna be tricky. Lower 90% of the way down. Come back up. <laughs> and lower all the way down onto your back. When you get here, pull your knees into your chest to give yourself a squeeze. Stay here or take happy baby. Reaching through the insides of your legs to hold on to the outsides of your ankles or your feet. And when you're ready, float your way into the most important, most precious shape of the practice, Shavasana. Extending your legs out long, collecting your shoulders onto your back, closing your eyes, and simply breathing. I definitely invite you to stay here for longer. If you're able, just turn off the video, stay here for five, 10, 20 minutes. If and when you're ready to move on, begin to deepen your breath and allow your deepened breath to inspire small movements through your fingers and your toes. You can give your head a little shake from side to side and you might take that final full body stretch by pointing through your toes as you reach your arms up overhead. Maybe you let your lower back lift. And bend into one knee and then the other. Roll over onto the side of your choosing and pause there briefly, just letting it all sink in before pressing yourself to a comfortable seated position. Keep your head heavy, your eyes closed as you bring your hands to prayer at heart center. Thanking yourself for taking this time out of your busy day to roll out your mat and to practice with me. I'd like to thank you for sharing your time with me. And we'll end with the word that means the divine light in me bows to the divine light in you. Namaste. Thank you so very much for sharing your time with me. I am so, so, so glad to be back. If there's anything you'd like to see, requests, let me know. Who I have to get back on the self-promotion train. Like, comment, subscribe, share with a friend, find me on Instagram. Um, but yeah, just keep practicing yoga. That's, that's my main thing that I want from you. Take care of yourself and I hope you have a really awesome, awesome rest of your day and I will see you hopefully very soon. Bye. Meow. Yeah.